Hey guys, it's Max. We're back with Battlecode 2015. In this video, I'll show you how to use the map editor to make your own custom maps. Here in the Battlecode release directory, there's a folder called Maps. Double click that, and you'll find a bc15me.jar file. That's actually an executable. You can double click it in Windows. This opens the Battlecode 2014 map editor by yours truly. You can type in the width and height of the map that you want, such as, I don't know, 21 by 25, and then press New Map. That'll clear the map and make a new one of the associated width and height. The pixels number tells you how big it renders the pixels. So if I set this to 24, then each individual tile of the map is rendered as 24 by 24 pixels. In general, maps made using this version of the editor will be symmetric. So if I place walls, which are actually voids, then you'll see them appear on both sides of the map. By left-clicking, I can make lines, like so. And by right-clicking, I can make regions, like that. I can place different units. Uh, this is the headquarters. Both teams need one headquarters and a tower. Both teams should have six towers. Something like that. The next thing is the ore that's placed on the map. By selecting this button, ore field, you look at the ore field map. By default, everything starts at 1. Somewhere between 1 and 50 are good numbers. So I'll select 50 and right click to paint regions with lots of ore. I can select this text field again and select a different number to have slightly less ore. Uh, you can see that the 50 and the 30 have the same color because the color is, I think, scaled to 30. Once I'm satisfied with the amount of ore that's on the map, I can deselect the ore field, but it's still there. For the random seed, I can put in whichever number I want. And I can choose the number of rounds that the game will last. Now when you enter things into these fields, be very careful to enter only numbers and never to press backspace or other characters such as enter. This will probably crash the map editor. Same thing for the file name. I'm going to type in a name of choice. Um, I guess I'll call it, uh, what does this look like to me? Hooks, I suppose. I'll call it hooks.xml. you got to put .xml, then push save. Now one of the things it did is that um, when I clicked save, it also placed uh, what looks like another tower. I don't know which of those actions resolved first. I can also click load to load the map or in this case, crash the game. Um, I'll edit hooks.xml to look at it to try to see if it produced another tower in a bad spot. This isn't extremely human readable, so I'll try run it from Eclipse. In a previous video, I showed how you can set up this build uh, and build target to run from Eclipse and that also works by pressing this run last target button up here at the top. I'm gonna to see if my maps here, yep it is, so I'll add hooks to the list and see what happens. It's looking okay. So there you go, that's how you make your own maps using the Battlecode 2015 map editor. Feel free to make your own or improve the one that's there and um, with that I'll see you next time. Hope this helps.